primary focus of ACI 301 is it's a, a specification for structural concrete. And it's a, a specification that's designed in such a way so as to an, incorporate the 318 building code requirements. And so that the 301 specification has at least the minimum level for 318, uh, the building code, the reinforced concrete code that our industry uses. The most important thing when looking at any new ACI document is to read it. Everybody should read 301. It is the default specification for our industry and those default requirements change as a new uh, specification is issued. In this document we'll need to make sure that people know that uh, temperature ranges have changed, that submittal items have changed, and uh, this can impact their budget as well as their construction schedule if they're not aware of these changes. We have written a 301 specification so as to complement the code and it is totally inclusive of uh, virtually all forms of structural concrete that we utilize in the building construction industry. The 301 is meant to be used by contractors, uh, so it's written by a specifier to a contractor. The language is intended entirely, the first uh, portion of the document is the adopted specification. However, the end portion of the document is written for the specifier and the engineer and building owner to have options uh, to change up the document where appropriate. So it is something that everyone should be aware of what the information is in it, but the language is written directly to the contractor. That way a designer will design his facility or his concrete structure or a, to the 318 code and then that same designer can then use the 301 specification for structural concrete to complement his design. 301 is organized in such a way that the first five chapters, the first five sections, are really about the basics. The first five sections cover uh, general requirements, formwork, reinforcement, concrete materials, means and methods as far as placing and, and transporting the concrete. Um, we also get into specialty sections. We have architectural concrete, a section on post-tensioning, mass concrete, lightweight concrete, industrial floors, shrinkage compensating concrete, uh, precast, uh, architectural precast as well as structural precast is covered in the specification and we also cover tilt wall. In this past cycle, we spent a lot of time cleaning up the language to make it more clear for the user. Uh, this is a mandatory document written in mandatory language, so it's very important to remove wording that is confusing or subjective to interpretation. Uh, so we did our best to remove as much of that as we can and clean up a lot of the definitions as well so that people's interpretation of things such as um, whether something is exposed to view, whether something is architectural, uh, we made sure that those are clear for the user. ACI 30116 is combined with selected references in the new 2016 edition of the Field Reference Manual. It's also included in the new edition of the Concrete Construction Special Inspector Reference Package. Learn more and purchase your copy at concrete.org.